Divine True Spirit Discussions. These are discussions with people who have lived on earth and who have now passed into the spirit world. Cornelius speaks to Chen Li, Gold Rush Miner, through an intermediary, Anto Kloboka. This discussion was held on the 30th of March, 2014, in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. Two, two sets of groups. Um, so we'll just start off with one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, what a challenge. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, Jan. <laughs> Not too bad. My name's Sheng Li. Hey, Sheng Li. My name's Cornelius. How are you? I'm okay. Got a bit of a cold at the moment, but I'm okay. Yeah, nice to meet you. You too. Where are you from, Sheng Li, or where were you from on Earth? Um, I was from China. Uh huh. Mm. And, but I've been in Australia. Mm -hmm. I stayed here for a very long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're born in China then? Yeah, we came over by boat and uh -huh. um, worked here, worked in Australia. Mm. Come with your family? Did no, you? no, uh -huh. um, no, not with all the family. Um, with some of my uncles and, you know, um, yeah, brother came over with me as well. Yes, sorry, there was mm -hmm. a family member. So we all came here to work. We mm. came here to mine. Uh huh. Mm. What were you mining? Gold. Oh yeah. Yeah. We were, we were in gold the, diggers. Oh mm. yeah, that's pretty in the early times. In the 1800s or something. Yeah, in about 1850, I think. Uh huh. Yeah. So we were here to help support and bring bring our families over. We wanted to. I wanted to bring them over. Yeah. Mm. Didn't get a chance though. Mm. Pretty tough times back then, wasn't they? It was very hard. Mm. It's different how they mine now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been, we've been watching how they mine and help a few others, but yeah, it was all, it was all hard labour, it was all hard work. Mm. Yeah, we all, you know, we did the pick, a lot of bending over. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't pleasant at all. Mm. Mm. The Chinese introduced a lot of market gardens in too, didn't they? They helped keep people sort of healthy in a way. Yeah, we brought a lot to this country. Yeah, yeah, we we can see how it prospers with what we've done, and mm. I was happy to bring some food and cook for the guys, and <laughs> <laughs> you know, teach teach all the teach a lot of people about these things. Yeah, mm. yeah, it was a very interesting country. <laughs> I couldn't believe the animals and, you know, it's pretty rocky and pretty hard. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Very hard work, yeah. Did you find much gold in the end? I did. I, we worked hard, but we lost a fair bit too. It yeah. got taken from us. Stolen? Or? Stolen. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was forced off us as well. Mm. Um, yeah, there was a lot of criminal activities going on and yeah, it was hard. It was hard to make, hard to make the money. Um, we had to pay others. Um, mm. You know, so I was saving up to bring my family, and so I don't know. It didn't happen. Not not when I was there. Mm. There's a lot of corrupt sort of ways. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it was. It wasn't fair. You know. Mm. Yeah, the Chinese weren't treated that well, were they? No, we to were the local inhabitants. Yeah, we were pushed into a corner and mm. um, they made us do things that we didn't want to do. And yeah, treat a very second rate. Yeah, they still do, mm. you know. You can still feel that they don't, they don't like us very yeah. much. Um, they accept us, but we have to make our, our mark, our stance. Mm. Mm. Just to get some sort of respect. Yeah, I mean, they got us here to work. Mm. So we know that, you know. I mean, but it was a chance to make some money, so yeah. But we weren't treated nicely. Mm. No. 
did you let, um, work all of your life doing gold mining? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, oh no, sorry. Back in China, I was a farmer. Uh -huh. Yeah, I grew up with a family doing farming, but um, I I was a younger one out of the out of the boys to go. So, by choice or? Well, because I was, I thought that was a way I could make quick money mm. for them and. And they thought it was a good idea. Mum wasn't happy that I was going, but mm. um, there's too many mouths to feed. And, you know, uncle convinced convinced me and I was like, yeah, let's go. So it was an, it was an adventure, you know. It was, mm. Went on a ship and that was pretty hot and scary. Mm. Yeah, we were all cramped and, um, yeah, it was pretty hard coming here, but it was something, it was new, it was fresh air, it was activities, there's, you mm. know, we're all, people walking around with their swags and, <laughs> you know, everyone's going one way and going another way and it was, it was, it was good, it was good in a way. I enjoyed the camps as well, meet a lot of people, mm. you know, we had some fun, drinking nights and we did our own gambling, you know. I guess you're amongst all people all doing the same things you love doing in a way, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, mm. it was a big community, I felt. Mm. Mm. Um, so that's why I wanted to bring my fam, I, you know, wanted to bring my parents over and my sisters and brothers and, mm. yeah, there's a lot more work here, there's prosperity. Um, even though it was a bit hard, there was some freedom in a way. Mm. Mm. So that never happened in the end, did it? No, no, it didn't happen. I, um, I didn't realise for a while, but, yeah, I just... I blanketed out and everything became dark for me and I just don't know where everyone was. Hmm. Mm. I mean, you had a bit of a change going on? Something no, happened? No, I realised that I, more recently I realised that I had, I died. Mm. But I didn't know, I, you know, I thought, what just happened? I was, I thought I was trapped, mm -hmm. you know, and, and then, yeah, I'd, I just died and I didn't know that I was, I had actually died, mm. you know, mining and... So is there a cave in, was there, in yeah. the mines? Yeah, it caved in. Yeah. I could feel something was wrong that day, but... Mm. It's funny how we don't react, listen to our feelings, isn't it? And no, we had to go, you know, they yeah. say, go in, boys, and... There was a lot of unrest around and, yeah, I thought, yeah, I'll, I can do it, I'm young. Mm. Mm. I had energy. What age did you die? So you, you said you were young. Um, I was 19. Oh, now, yeah. now that I know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite young, isn't it? And yeah, it was. You missed out on a lot of what you could have done with the rest of your life, I guess. Well, I didn't know. So, you know, when mm. eventually I realised that I'd, I died, I'd, things started to, I could start to see things. I don't know why I didn't see things for mm. a long time. Did it take you a while till you could work out that you weren't alive anymore? I thought I was alive, it's just everything went dark. I thought I was trapped in the cave and mm. I've been looking to get out ever since. And, and then, yeah, you know, it's, I, I got scared and just mm. stayed, you know, I didn't know how to get out and no one was around and mm. I don't know how, what happened then. Just maybe I didn't want to know what was going on. Mm. So, yeah, I've been pretty alone most of my, my life, yeah. Mm. What happened when you realised that, that you had actually died? Well, there were, I started hearing voices and um, I could hear other mining uh -huh. going on. And so I thought I'd go and have a look and then, then I was in camp again. But it was, this is a different type of camp. It's, you know, there's, a, there's machines, there's, <laughs> you know, there's stuff. There's things I've never seen before. Mm. It's amazing. Um, yeah, there's just the machinery. It's different. Miners aren't mining the way we used to mine. They're modern. Um, yeah, there's been a lot I've been learning. Mm. Mm. So, 
things rapidly changed. I knew this was a country that changed. Yeah. But I didn't realise it changed this much. Hmm. So there's a lot of grief inside you, the feeling, when you're alone and by yourself. It seemed like that's quite a heavy feeling on you. Yeah. Like, I didn't know. I thought, why did everyone lock me up? Why, like, you know, I did everything. Yeah. That I... You felt like you're being punished. Yeah. Mm. I felt quite punished. Mm. Like, why would everyone abandon me? You know, I did everything that everyone wanted. Mm. It wasn't nice. I, yeah, I, don't, I guess I didn't want to see anyone either. I, Why is that? I was just angry at everyone. Like, why would they lock me up? Mm. They can all go. They can go to hell. Mm. You know, I wasn't bad. I wasn't a bad person, so why would they do this to me? But people didn't treat you very nice, even though you're a good person? No, no one saw that. They just, they treated me, I was weak. Mm. You know? So no one really actually got to know you, really, in the end. Because everyone's tired, you know, you know what it's like in a camp, or oh, maybe you don't, but you work, you come out, then you're, you're tired and you've got to cook and there's all sorts of weather conditions and it's always changing, you know? Mm. So there's never really time to... You talk with people, but not really. It's more about everyone trying to make each other happy. And... Mm. But yeah, no, it was not. But but now it's different, you know, like, in, in a way, I, I don't know. Like, I found a lot of friends now and we're all not... They're nicer to me. Mm. Mm. They, they're here with, with yeah. me as well. And you just you hang around mining locations generally? Yeah, they've... Um, they've, they've I don't know how to explain it. I've been to diff different places where they mine now. Yeah. A lot of it's machines, but... Mm. There's different people from different backgrounds. You know, it's not... not, not all, we're not all Chinese. Yeah. We're all, we're all different. Um, but... I don't know, there's more mining at certain places than other places, and it's done differently at other places than it's done... So I don't know where, you know, like... I'm visiting different places and I don't know how I get there. Mm. But they're different mines, you know. There's like this very large mining activities and they're mining all sorts of things. Mm. Um, and then I visit like what I sort of not have known in the past, the environment I've known in the past, and that's it's big, but it's not as big. Mm. So, yeah, things feel differently to me. I don't understand. Can I help you explain? Um, how you get from place to place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd all like to know. Cause... Yeah, you know, like when you had a physical body, you had to use phys physical apparatus to get to a place. Like a, you had a boat back then, a ship. You had to go from China to Australia to get from place to place. Yes. Yeah, but now that you don't have a physical body, and you're in a spirit, spirit body, in a spirit world. There's different laws that apply there. They're similar, but different. They're still on Earth. There's the same laws apply, but the apparatus that we have now is different in the spirit world. So you have to have a spirit body and it can just, it can go from location to location quite quickly. Hmm. And the, the place, why it gets there is a, a feeling inside yourself, desire to want to go to a place and instantly it will take you to a place. So, have I, I, I think I might have visited those places. They still mine there, don't they? Where's that? In the spirit world. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you can move to any location near the spirit world on Earth as well, depending if you're still on Earth as well. You can go to any of those places you want to in an instant. But it's activated from something inside yourself, that's inside yourself that's happening. When you have a, a desire or a strong feeling to go to somewhere, you go there. Well, I look for my friends and then I'm over at that place. Yeah, it takes you there straight away because yeah. you had a feeling of wanting to see your friends. Your feeling took you there. And they're there, they're, they're yeah. actually doing mining. Yeah. But they're, they're very rich there. Hmm. Hmm. So, so it's you that's creating it, nothing else? Not them? No. No. Oh. Sometimes you can get pulled to a place that's from somebody else wanting to know where you are. But they, you know, if mm. I, they haven't wanted to see me mm. when I've gone there. 
Yeah. So that's why I come back. Mm. Can they see you? Do they recognise you? Or? Sometimes, but they're so busy doing what they're doing, you know, they... Mm. There's no time. They just want more. They just keep working. Yeah. They're not. But then I meet other people and... Mm. Mm. So they become my new friends. What do you look for when you go there? Like what do you get from it, the feeling? I, I don't know. I, I feel like I like to see these people and set things straight. You know, I want to find out why. Why didn't they help me? Why they locked me up? Why, mm. you know, I was... But, I guess I've been angry at them. Mm. Um, but you weren't actually locked up. Well, well, they didn't dig me out, did they? No, I don't know if they did or didn't, but you were trapped underground and you died. Your physical body went through some trauma that couldn't sustain and you died. Mm. Mm. Then you're in a spirit location, a feeling of being trapped. But they sent me down a particular space, you know, somewhere I wasn't familiar. They, they knew that space. Mm. They didn't tell me the things that were going on there. Yeah. You know, they knew it was risky. Mm. They didn't have a care for your life? They didn't. They just, yeah. they sent me down there because I found out later, you know. They weren't concerned for me. They just wanted someone to... Mm. You're expendable. Yeah. Mm. You know, and they got what they wanted. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I want to know really what happened. Mm. And I'm not, I don't know what happened. I don't know whether they caused it to happen, so I died, or... Mm. Yeah, I just got this feeling that they did something. Yeah. Because I pulled out a fair bit of gold that day. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just a strong feeling inside yourself of grief, though, and anger about being the way you were treated. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. It's going to help you more working through that feeling, than, and it'll actually give you the answers in the end. And it's going, to, it's going to be the way that will give you the answers. But if someone harmed you, wouldn't you be angry? Yeah. I have been angry in the past a lot about that, but I've had to go and work through, there's a feeling that's coming from inside of me, and I've got to, and because it's not a feeling of love coming from inside of me, there's something must be out of harmony within something inside of me. Does that make sense? Yeah, but... And so I need to discover what it is inside of me, because I'm, I'm in the wrong. If I have anger towards someone, then I am in that moment in the wrong. Even if they've harmed you? Yes. And I need to discover why I'm, or what's going on inside of me. And it's generally because of another feeling behind that feeling. Can you feel that what it is for you? No. no I just feel sad about it. Mm, that's good. It's better to feel your sadness than, than to stay in anger. Well, they should have looked after me. You know, we were mm. brothers. We, were, we all d came there for the same reason. Mm. Well, I thought we did. So you thought, yeah. You know? But there's priorities, isn't there? A lot of people are quite selfish and have some different motives and you... They just wanted money. Mm. They didn't want to bring their families. They say they do, but... Mm. And I, when I visited, you know, they've, they've got more than enough. Mm. But it's never enough. No, they're not. It's, it's, they're different. They... Mm. Yeah, no, I, we've always been, you know, our family's always been treated poorly. Hmm. And this is the thing you need to start feeling about a little bit more, rather than looking everywhere else for wanting to find answers. Just focus back on yourself and what's going on inside your own feelings. And just know, just feel how you've been treated. Because there's a lot of grief I can feel from you inside about that. It'll help you to actually get in contact with that grief, get in touch with it. Hmm and to let it actually express through yourself, the feeling of it. But what happens if I get more angry? Like, I don't want to... I can feel when I get angry and... Mm. You'll need to get angry about a lot of things that happen in your life, but don't um, try and dump your anger onto anybody else or blame anybody else. Just try and let yourself feel that you're angry about what happened. But that's hard to do. It is a little bit hard, isn't it? Because I instantly go over there. Yeah. And then... Try and stay focused that's coming in from inside of yourself rather than trying to look for an avenue to vent it on. Does that make sense, how that would work? The anger is generated from inside of you because there's a feeling inside of you about something that happened. So, 
I am confused. Mm -hmm. When I'm angry, yeah. and I start to think of these people, mm -hmm. then I don't want to feel my anger, I just want to be angry. I don't I'm at them. At them. Mm. But I don't you're saying I don't want to feel my anger. Yeah, you want to blame someone rather than for for what's happening inside yourself. And because it's happening inside yourself, you're responsible for that, whatever you do with that. And to go and harm someone again is just doing what's happened to you. Do you understand that? Yeah, I can yeah. Yeah, it doesn't do any good. It actually puts more harm on your soul than what you started with. So I'm, I'm harming myself. Yeah, when you're harming someone else, it's like using a curved sword when you're striking them, it comes back and strikes you. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Remember that place you said you were stuck in? Yeah. Yeah, imagine if you're just in that space and you can't go out and exact your rage or anger on anybody else because you're contained in your own space. But I couldn't, you know, like... Mm. You know how many times I was at, I screamed or wanted to get out and I couldn't? Mm. And so, I mean, if you can find a space somewhere that's um, safe for you to express yourself without having to go and harm someone else with you. I don't want to go there again. No, no you don't have to go there. Go to somewhere that's a lot nicer for you. Somewhere you feel comfortable with expressing yourself. But see, when I get angry, then all these people are here with me. Mm. What you know? sort of people? They're all angry as well. Mm. That's what you attract. Because you have the same feelings as them at that time. And they're people that want to dump their anger on other people as well and feel vengeance and rage towards other people. But they say they're there to help me. Yeah. We all do. Do they? Or do they help you or not? Well, I've visited a lot of places with them. Mm. Do they help me? Do they help you? Well, I'm not lonely anymore. Is that a, not help? Because you have the same feelings as each other and you hang around together, so you don't feel as lonely? Yes. Mm. So you have, there's a camaraderie through anger? Is there? So we're just helping each other to be... Staying in anger with others? To stay in anger with others, to blame others. Mm. It feels like mateship or a bond. But this is what people do on Earth. They do, and it's wrong, isn't it? I was there when they did that, you know? Mm. They... Have you seen the condition on Earth? <laughs> it's not too good. But that's what people are. Mm, but they need to change. If they want to have a happier life. We need to learn how to deal with what happens inside ourselves. Hmm. There are some people that can come to you. There's lots of people in the spirit world that are able to assist you and help you through this. And do you know how I was talking about before, how when you want something, it'll come to you, that like you'll be there instantly? Well, this is why I'm wondering why I'm talking. We're all here talking to you. Mm, because you must want some sort of change or some answers to something. Once you attracted a medium that was open enough to be able to talk to someone that could help you. But what would I want? I don't... I'm not thinking of anything. <laughs> what are you feeling? I'm just... I'm sad, I'm tired. Yeah, it's usually the tiredness and you become exhausted doing the same thing. It eventually softens you enough to want some help. And you don't have to come to Earth to, like, through this method to receive help. There's help around you all the time. Mm. And if you want that help, you have to just do the same method, just ask for the help that's around you all the time. Remember when you were going to go down that um, mine mm. and you had this feeling? Yep. Uh, I shouldn't go down there today? Yeah. There's a guy looking out for you. Well, they look funny, you know. They, mm. Something felt wrong. Yeah, because you get an impression from a guide, a spirit guide, telling you don't go down there, it's not good. They're not looking after you, they don't care about you, you're just going to be used as a pawn. And it's not going to turn out well for you. And we just shut that off and just go down anyway. Well, that, that moment, that guide is still around, that guide is with you, around you and now still. I mean, I had a little girl, you know, come to me saying, no, don't go. 
Mm. So even that God could impress a young child that was more open and let you, give you the second message. Yes, you've been helped a lot. There's a lot of love for you present that you just didn't realize. Why does that sadden me when you talk about that? Because you missed out on the love and didn't recognize it. But it was there and it was genuine, a real care for you. And you can feel the genuineness in the care. So where were they when I was in the hole? When I got buried? And they couldn't help you because you're angry. Anger prevents a lot of help. It sort of pushes people away. It's like yourself. Imagine if you were around a whole lot of really angry people, would you feel comfortable being around them or would you just rather leave? No, we're all angry, so... Mm. Yeah, if, if I wasn't angry, I guess I wouldn't want to be around... None of us would want to be around each other. Yeah. So the anger pushes you away from the help. But until you can actually um, own your own anger, when you start owning it, you're taking responsibility for your feelings and you can be helped then. So this person... Do I go see them when I want to, or...? They will appear when you want them to. Mm. Remember how I was saying before, it's a strong feeling inside yourself of desire that will open up some laws that allows them to appear straight away. So that, it's you doing all, all this. You're more powerful than you think. <laughs> Just a boy. So you could try an experiment if you I want. I want to meet this person. All right, just, just try that feeling. If the person that wanted to help you when you're on Earth was trying to let you know that you were going to be in danger and had a lot of care for you, and didn't want you to be harmed. If you just feel that person again, feel that the love that person has for you and you just want to see them. And just see what happens. Too much to be near this person. Mm. She knows a lot about my life. Mm. She brought the girl along with her too. Yeah, I thought she might. <laughs> she's not a girl anymore. Yeah, she's a bit older, isn't she? Mm. been here they said. Can you pardon? They always wanted to be here. Yeah, it's just your feelings were holding them away. They'll be able to explain that better for you, better to you. Mm. They've asked me to come along with them. Mm, they'll be able to help you a lot. They've been waiting for the moment to be able to help you. It's the same goes for all the guys that are with you, or your friends as well. They've got the same scenario going on. They've had guides assigned by God that will want to help you and assist you. It's been a lot of years being stuck in the same sort of place. It's nice to be go, you'll be able to experience a lot more joy in the future as you work through these things. Yeah. No, I want to go explore. I know that these other places exist. Mm. We all do. So are you, are you a guide as well? Um, not really. No, just someone that knows a little bit about how God's laws work and just able to assist people to learn about them. 
Well, and all God's laws are very loving laws, so there's always a lot of help with love. Well, thank you anyway for showing me these people. You're welcome, Shang Li. There's a lot to go and learn. <laughs> yeah, I want to go with them. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah. I've had enough of this place. Yeah. <laughs> thank you again. Yeah, thanks for your time too. Bye. Bye.